and welcome back to another episode of Becoming Vivian's Mother. You're probably wondering why in the world is she dressed like in Renaissance attire? Well, we're going to a Renaissance fair today. But I'm still contemplating if we should take the stroller. Now, we've been to a major theme park before with Baby to celebrate her first birthday. And I did not make a video about that, but let me show you just a few things, how, just a few ways how we accessorize our stroller. All right, so first, going to a theme park. There are gonna be a lot of other families with strollers as well. One good way to make sure that you stand out from other strollers is to have a stroller sign. Just have your family's name. You could possibly have like where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you how I did mine. I just went onto my computer, opened up Word, and I seriously just made this using a bunch of shapes. And then I went to Michael's and got a yellow piece of construction along with some ribbons. And from there, that's how my family sign took its form. Moving on over, everything that I'm showing you, I'm gonna place in a link below to Amazon so you can find those as well. I have this little string here, right? And it has quite a few snaps, all right? And this is a great way when baby is playing with her toy, if she decides, I'm done with it, guess what? You won't lose it, it's still here. And you can also attach sippy cups and bottles as well. Another thing you're going to want going to a theme park, you're gonna want one of these, yes. You can easily get this at Target for around, I wanna say like $3.99, possibly $5. And this is just great to stick on the side. Ah! There, stick on the side if you wanna add any other diaper bags or shopping bags, you have an extra hand here. Also, you're gonna want a combination lock, all right? You're gonna want one of these. Make sure it has a pretty long stretchy. If not a long stretchy, it's, it's fine. A stretchy cord, I mean. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it in between the wheels and this back bar here. That way, if anybody tries to walk off with your stroller, they really can't because those wheels are not going to move. You're gonna want one of these. Also, last but not least, oh, yes. Also, I don't have it with me right now, but I will put a link in the description below for a rain, almost like a rain suit, but for your stroller. You also have the mosquito net as well. And that rain suit for your stroller, it really helped during the time of COVID and we were all wearing masks. That way I was able to protect my baby as well. So, you know, you can use it for multiple uses. All right, last one, we have this net. So you can just drop things in the hurry. So if you're like just rushing, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta hurry up. I can just stick things right here in an extra net. You're going to want to take, not a lot of things, but you're gonna wanna take things that are necessary. Right here at Target, or you can find on Amazon, we have this <clears throat> Mandarin alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer, and I'll also have some bug spray. You're also going to want to have some baby sunscreen as well. And last but not least, you can easily find these at the Dollar Tree. Yes, this is a little safety kit. You're gonna have your bandages and gauzes, and you can add... <laughs> also add your own Neosporin tube to it as well. Well, I'm gonna hurry up and get our little dragon ready for our medieval Renaissance festival, and I'll see you next time. Bye.